Okay, everybody, welcome to today. I'm going to make a video and we're going to talk about those t shirts that we've been selling to raise money for Todd and Brandon's uh, through hike of the Appalachian Trail. First order of business today is my hair. Doesn't it look good? If y'all notice how nice my hair is today, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Second <laughs> is that we have reached our goal of 25 shirts. Let me show you right here. 25 shirts sold toward a goal of 25. Now, let me say this. That does not mean that you can't still buy shirts. In, uh, in fact, the more shirts you buy, the more money we raise for their hike. And I know that there are people out there, Stoney, Stoney for one, he's talking about one, one. Um, and, and there are other people out there who have talked about, you know, wait until payday and such as that. So just go ahead and buy the shirts. It's a good thing. If we sell 50, if we sell 150, if we sell 19,227, it's just going to be grand. So buy them shirts if you want them. Okay? Okay. That's out of the way. Now, next point. Point C. Uh, the, the Appalachian Trail Through Hike Fund is up to $950. $15 and that is largely thanks to 63 Sonatech who bought a quilt from Trish and Trish donated all the money from the quilt to the hike and along those lines I wanted to say this Trish honey baby my little sweetheart and my wife over there uh, who is on magnificent purple because of the way I've got the camera <laughs> set uh, is has made and is making stuff and everything she gets from the stuff goes to support this in fact she's selling some stuff at the church next week and she's got a video up called new items for sale and she's trish peak on youtube and uh and she got some other videos up about things for sale and she's actually making a quilt for uh mr comatose uh she's gonna make him like a full-size quilt and he's gonna pay for it and all of that money's going toward todd's too so a lot of money is going through the appalachian trail hike and i just wanted to take a second and thank all you youtubers all youtubers because you're all fabulous and you're doing a great job and we're kind of having a lot of fun with this and it's awesome one more thing i want to talk about there's a guy named pirate life and he spells it p-i-r-8 life and he was um trying to get involved to help with uh when when jason 66 hell ride was uh being very sick and was actually building a radio controlled car that was kind of an in dedication to him and jason passed away at the end of it and it was like one of those things where he was kind of right there but then it was over and we were all very sad and anyway he's a heck of a nice guy i've been talking to him for quite a long time he he asked me the other day if i would build him a gas can banjo and and he would send all the donation all the payments that to todd and Wow. We started talking about that, and I, I, I told him, I said, you know, the last time I sold one of these, this is how much I charged for it. And at first he said, well, that's more than I thought it was going to be. But then he sent me this email, and I thought it was, I thought it was so funny. I, I just wanted to share it. This email says, R. Peak, I've been thinking it over and have figured out if Jason was willing to play to pay that much for a banjo that he hasn't even that he wasn't even able to pay, then it must be worth it. How could I ask for less? So, I've been selling drugs out of the back of my truck and prostituting myself out to raise the extra cash I need. Almost sold my nephew into slavery, but couldn't. He's too good of a fishing buddy. I set up a GoFundMe account, but everyone's been funding Todd instead. If that is the much that you need for the gas can banjo, I'm in. And if it hasn't been done already, I'll throw in a little extra to add 66 Hellride and Dead Eye Dan's name to the backpack. You know, we're putting the names of everybody who funds this stuff um, on the backpacks. And I think his thinking and my thinking is that, you know, Dead Eye Dan and, and uh, Jason would be right in the middle of this if they were alive and could. So he's out of town right now, but he says, when I get back, uh, I'll get in touch with you. And now I've got to go because my John will be here any minute. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anybody with that good of a sense of humor and can write that well needs a gas can banjo so we're in negotiation now he's got some parts and things so we're going to figure it out but it looks like i'm going to be i said i wasn't going to make another can banjo unless it was for one lonely farmer because i kind of had him on my list as somebody i thought i might make one for someday but sometimes you change your mind and this seems like a good idea you know if i make a, a can banjo for him and it helps fund todd that's a good thing so Anyway, that's where we're at. So, to sum up, feel free to buy all the t-shirts you want. If anybody wants to just plain donate, that's fine. If you want to buy something that Honey Baby has made, say hi, Honey Baby. Hi, Honey Baby. 
just uh, go over to her little site there and you can look at the things that she's got or you can send her uh, an email and say hey I want a quilt or I want this or I want that but uh, just a great big thank you Todd has said in fact he's got his own website Todd Heckle let me show you his website I can pull that up right quick this video is probably getting too long already but no he's got a he's got a YouTube He's got a YouTube. YouTube channel. He's got a YouTube. I'm right or you won't find him. Todd Heckle, that's him right there. Look at that handsome boy. There he is right there. So he's got his own website and he's been putting up in, uh, uh, videos and in a lot of those videos he talks about how, how amazing it is that he is meeting this whole YouTube community. He's got subscribers and everything else. So anyway, y'all go visit Todd. You can also go to his... Uh, He's also got a, a, a YouTube page yes. about his uh, uh, AT 2015 18 through height. So I've already said too much and given you. You said YouTube. It's Facebook. Here, you make this video for me because I can't talk. Yeah. Go right ahead. <laughs> it's okay with me. I, you want to call everything a website? I, I, understand, a Facebook page. I understand that I ain't got the ability to put a whole string of sentences <laughs> together and have them make sense all at the same time without stopping and thinking about it and going back and erasing. That's why I was, I was, when I was a little kid, they invented, um, um, what's that white stuff? Uh, the whiteout? Whiteout. They invented whiteout for me. <laughs> And then the only problem is I kept sticking it in my ear because I couldn't figure out how to patch up the loose spots in my brain, you know. And uh, some doctor finally said, you're making it worse. You're making it worse. Stop doing that. It's not good for you, you know. And I said, what am I supposed to do? Up my nose, you know, stick, drink a little of it and paint my tongue with it. Why? 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 See y'all, I'm going to stop talking now. Honest. <laughs> As if that were possible. <laughs> Say that again. I want to go up and stop making a quilt. Woo! 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 But I still got Todd's to make. Sorry, Todd. Here's my go in the back burner. <laughs> So oh, I can well. help raise money for you. What can I say? Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs>